Hello, hey there. I hope you're doing well. So today, on this beautiful park this evening, I want to briefly talk about this thing um, called letting go. Have you ever been in a situation that later on, after some time, when you were in that situation, you ask yourself, what was I thinking? What was I thinking to be together with that person up to this moment? <laughs> You know, there are people who have been in relationships or in situations that they were supposed to let go and they let go. Letting go for some people, it's very natural. But on the other hand, it's very hard and difficult for other people. And maybe you who is watching me now or who is going to watch this video, letting go is not as easy. As the statement says it's difficult even for a celebrity who has money who is famous can afford all the therapists can afford a better life to let go some things that are affecting him or her and even ruining their talents or gifts that God has blessed them with or you can imagine a family member or a dear friend maybe you know one of them you know her or you know him, who is finding it very hard to let go. Even when you see that their life is being affected by the other person or the things they are holding on unto. And it's so painful, even when you try to correct them, to advise them, to encourage them, and even to remind them that they are very important and that relationship was not meant for them, Still, your words and pieces of advice fall into deaf ears. It's very hard if you are speaking to a friend. Leave alone the strangers who might need advice from you about letting go. A close friend or a family member, it's worse. But why? There are so many reasons why most people struggle to let go. One of the obvious reasons People sometimes assume and say, hey, they are not letting go because they lack information or knowledge about having a better life, a peaceful life, a loving life. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of knowledge online. You can see, you can read, you can watch. If you spend time on finding out about what makes a beautiful life, a happy relationship, all that information is available these days. It's not like in the past. So lack of information has never been one of the reasons why people do not want to let go. But there is always that inner voice. And when you speak to such a person, asking them, why are you not letting go? Or even that person who is watching me and you're finding it very hard to let go, there is that inner voice that keeps on talking to you. Sometimes it calls your name and tells you, hey, you, let me use my name as an example. Hey, Benjamin. Your life has not been okay in the past few months or few years since you began doing what you've been doing or since you began staying or having this relationship. You need to let go. It is time to say goodbye. That voice keeps on singing, ringing, talking to such a person or you who is finding it very hard to let go. And I want to talk to you because I'm facing you and I have this time and you, as you're listening to me, maybe, as I do these videos every evening, it's always a reminder that you need to wake up and see how valuable and important you are. Now, I want to briefly mention some of the reasons why letting go is so difficult. There is a very negative notion about how people say, that relationships are very hard. And when you talk to someone who is finding it very hard to let go, they have come to believe that relationships are very hard. It's hard everywhere. But the saddest reality, even if it's hard, there are people who are making it work. And they are staying together, and they are not fighting or arguing all the time. It's not drama every day for them. But they are together. And those could be your own family members. 
the notion of believing that relationships or marriages or doing certain things is hard, it's a fallacy. It's a lie. People just complicate the whole relationship. And that's why, one of the other reasons why letting go becomes more difficult is because you confuse chemistry and compatibility. You think that because you have a crush or you like that person so much or you love that person so much, that person will do the same to you. When you talk about relationships or even if you check the meaning of the word relationship, it is not about one person. Unless you are single and you love yourself so much that you don't need any person in your life. But if you have decided to be together with someone or if you have any relationship between you and your family members who could be very toxic too, even your workmates, if you don't let go of them, you think that by sacrificing your time, your energy, working more hard, trying to fix all the problems, they will do the same to you letting go will be very difficult. When you listen to the stories of the people who have failed to let go, the answer is always, they are doing their best. They are changing. They are trying. They are fighting for that relationship. And it's so sad when you hear a story of a young, beautiful woman under the age of 30 with the two innocent children and then the husband has been emotionally abusing her for so many years. And when you ask her, why don't you let go? One of the reasons she will tell you, it's because of the fear of the unknown. Fear of what people will say. Fear of the society. Fear of social media people. What will social media people say? So they hang in on there. They try to fix everything on their own. It is so painful when you're working so hard to correct the mistakes of another person. Remember that person is an adult. He is not your child. He is someone who is over the age of 25, capable of making wise decisions. But because intentionally, he has decided to continue manipulating and using you, and even when he is doing very bad and nasty things, you take it to yourself to begin correcting yourself instead of letting go that person to correct and fix their lives. People talk about children, very crucial part of letting go. Children and property, investments, which brings to the other point of attachment and what people say that they have spent and invested a lot in such a relationship. I've hosted two beautiful ladies who underwent their divorce processes. Painful, difficult decisions that they made after realizing for so many years, more than 20 years, that they were hanging on on something that was not supposed to be. And when you watch that interview that I did for them and you listen to their stories, letting go was so hard for them. One of them took 24 years to finally let go. My question to you is this, do you think that lady can recover those 24 years in her life? Where will she get the 24 years of happiness, peace and health? Time is priceless. This video, you're watching it today and right now, and it will come to an end. But this day, as I'm making this video, will also come to an end, and you will never get it. If you celebrated your birthday last year, or you're going to celebrate it very soon this year, that means you're getting older. That means you are no longer the young, beautiful lady that you used to be or the young, handsome man you used to be. And that means if you do not let go, then the future ahead of you, what other people are enjoying, the peace of mind, the inner peace that I talked about recently in one of the videos, you might not get it. You might not live to experience it. When you hear a story of a lady or a someone or a man who decides or finally finds love at the age of 55 and above. 55 is quite a long time to live. If that person is lucky to live healthy, 
maybe there are 20 more years in his or her life ahead. But in those 55 years, if they never let go, if they never had a peace of mind, if they never enjoyed life, then that means they will have a very short time to enjoy the life, which is so sad. One of the other reasons of not letting go is people hanging on the hope that things will get better. Finally, somebody will get better. The relationship will become better. And you see, the challenge of not letting go is most relationships have ups and downs. But for the people who struggle not to let go, the, the downs, which are the lows, because for them, happiness is not on their list. Sometimes they don't even remember the last time they were very happy, smiling, walking freely, or sleeping a sound sleep. And when those high moments come, it feels like special. When that person apologizes, comes back and says, hey, I am going to be better. I am going to stop these habits. To them, it feels so special. It feels like love has come back again. But the cycle, the roller coaster of lows and highs come back again. I always say this. Every time you are with someone in any kind of relationship, whether it's at work, business, family, or even here on social media, time to time, ask yourself, what am I benefiting in this relationship? Am I the one who is doing so much? Am I the one who is talking too much? Am I the one who is communicating? Am I the one who is spending more money? Am I the one who is looking for the other person? Am I the one who is chasing the other person? Am I the one who is making the other person happy over and over again? You need to ask yourself these questions. Because as I began this video, I said letting go is very hard. It's the most difficult skill that you can learn as a man or as a woman. But the moment you begin to realize that you are doing so much and getting nothing, even with your business partner, your roommate, your workmate, your spouse, your partner, and you're getting nothing, then you will begin making that decision to finally let go. It is two-way traffic. You cannot love someone so much and that person doesn't do the same to you. That is not healthy. That is not good. And that is not fair. It's far better to let go and do the same things you have been sacrificing for the other person for yourself. No matter how painful or difficult it may be, even if it's a family member, a workmate, a business partner, or a spouse, it's far better to now begin the journey of doing it for yourself, taking it back to you. And this is my reminder on this video. I wish you nothing but the best. It is not easy, but people have done it. When you look at me, there are relationships I had that I asked myself, what was I thinking to hang in on there? Benjamin. Why did you take too long to let go? Others are doing it. How about you? Think about it. And I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for watching. And if this video touched you in one way or another, please don't forget to follow this page and also share this video to a friend or a family member. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you and God bless. I love you. Ha, 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 ha.